Hi, this is Tyler with Power Tank, and in this video we are looking at our ladder crossbar mount for Gobi and other vehicle based ladders. Alright, so this is what comes in your ladder crossbar kit. You have two crossbars, a set of four uh, roll bar clamps, or two pairs if you want to think about it that way, and then three sets of shims. You have your thick shims, this goes down to uh, 0.75. The thin shim is for one inch, and the very thin shim is for inch and one eighth diameter tubing. If you go without the shim, these roll bar clamps are inch and a quarter. So a lot of variation there. You also get a set of eight nuts and washers, as well as six short screws and two long screws. Um, and I'll get to the why in just a second. We designed the crossbar uh, to be as adaptable to as many different designs as possible, uh, ladders. So even within the same manufacturer, these are both Gobi ladders, but the width is different. So how you mount your uh, propane tank or your power tank is gonna be different. Uh, first thing is to first determine what diameter tubing you have. These Gobies are one inch. So we use the uh, medium shims, get these down, uh, at first you want to, of course, start them loose so that way you can kind of figure everything out. So um, now let's kind of go over what the thought process is and how uh, best to set up the ladder crossbar. This is a 5th gen 4Runner ladder and this space, this install is pretty basic. We're going to put the ears inwards because otherwise it would be too wide. We can center the crossbar just like that. Two sets of hardware go in there. Nuts and washers on the back. All right. And then I have our five pound propane tank bracket and that goes right in the middle. So you just use these two drilled holes just like that. And then obviously set, get your height correct. You just get your top one on and you're done. Very simple to do it that way. But now let's go over to this JK and there's a little bit more um, adjustability in this one. So a little more thinking ahead of time. So with this Gobi ladder, because it's so narrow, we kind of have a choice. We can either point the ears both inwards or we can shoot them out in the same direction. And what you want to think about is lining up the holes on the bracket to your crossbar and then mounting up or lining up the holes on your ladder uh, roll bar clamps to the crossbar. And so if we want to set it here with both of them pointed toward inwards. We can go maybe like this and have this kind of off to the side. We can put a screw there. But now, if we were to use another short one through this, one, the head's gonna stick up above this line, and then two, it's gonna be too short on the back. There's not enough thread for the nut to grab. So for this mounting, what we can do is, since I know these two line, uh, holes line up with the bracket, and that's true for every bracket, uh, the whole spacing uh, top to bottom might be different uh, a little bit, but for the most part, or, or on everything except the 20 pound power tank and 20 pound propane tank, these holes are the same distance apart. So they'll always fit in those two. Because I'm going through more material, I could send the bolt through the bracket. This is the long bolt through the bracket, the crossbar and the roll bar. And then here, Again, that's my pre-drilled hole. Send this bolt through, washer not on the back side. And if I were to leave it like that, that'd be totally fine. I'd be using uh, six sets of hardware total, three on the top, three on the bottom. All right, and then again, I'm just taking a look, lining up the holes. If I put it one through here, put the screw through here, I'm not gonna be able to line it up over here. So I can slide the whole thing over. Okay. 
I can use a short boat, bolt for both of these. And then maybe I can go like this. You know, that this actually won't work because I can get a bolt through here, but I can't get one through here. If I were to set, put a bolt through this middle, then I wouldn't be able to get one through here. So you're kind of, you know, juggling multiple things in your mind as you go to set this up. So it might be a little trial and error, but once you have it set, um, you cinch down the hardware and it'll be a super secure mount. As long as everything's tight, everything's lined up properly. And that's the ladder crossbar mount. It's a one size fits most solution uh, to fit on many different ladders, many applications, many vehicles. Uh, it's great for your power tanks or propane tanks because it is a very secure mount with multiple points of contact as long as the ladder you're securing it to is also sturdy.